and welcome to a spot that isn't quite mining related, but is a really interesting piece of history. Fairly well preserved in the uh, area just around Colville National Forest. Today we're up at Radar Dome. So called because there was a Cold War radar installation here to monitor, well, everything north of here, really. Or at least attempt to. These days, though, it's a far cry from the 40s and 50s heyday, where they had, I think, 100 plus. I don't know if you can call them airmen, but you can definitely call them service members stationed up here. It's a very interesting site here. It's been pretty aggressively taken over by graffiti artists and such. But what remains of the site, sir? Just really interesting. Because even just in here, this was probably a generator room. And mostly we can tell that because of ventilation. And because over here, there is an old either diesel or gasoline tank. Quite the large one. I'm not going to disturb it because I think there's something in there. Some bug or something. Or a, not a bug, or maybe a mouse. Heard something crawling in. What remains of the metal vents in here? But this is just one of several buildings that remains here. Although the really interesting stuff, the homes and such, were actually removed from the site and turned into a Boy Scout camp. I think in the 80s and 90s. And then. They're kind of just gone now. The spot where the uh, cabins used to be is uh, now just kind of like a, a parking lot slash ORV area. And as I drove up past it, there were cows munching on grass right there. So it's pretty obvious that things have changed since there used to be houses there. But today we're going to be exploring as much this site as we can and seeing what remains and what it has yet to offer. So this was a again a generator room here. At least I believe it was. They definitely had to have generators on site. We're a good 20 plus miles outside of Colville itself so while they did have a paved road coming up this way, it would have been very difficult for them to provide power in any meaningful amounts, especially for the very large radar installations that are up top, just beyond the walls there. But for now, I'll just scoot around the side so you can see the bricks of the uh, exhaust vents and everything on the side here. They've definitely fallen down. They've definitely also seen better days. As again, it has been since about the 50s that this site was maintained. So, we're going to go ahead and head up now to the first, what I believe to be one of a couple command buildings, just over there. Then the main complex is right just beyond there. It's got all sorts of things in it. Main rooms, a cafeteria, it's even got a theater. But we'll see those in a little bit here. I'm going to head over to this, what I believe to be a command building, and we'll catch back there. And here we have what remains of the asphalt driveway heading from the main road up to this building. Not sure what it would be, but I assume the command building. Even though not 100% sure. Lots of interesting graffiti in here. As there always is at sites like this. Yeah, that's what I remember most. So. This building, 
I just don't know if it was like a command building or what. But there used to be a deck here. A patio or porch of some sort. Just uh, just a couple of post holes remain, or at least I think that's what they are. Either that or power lines. Not sure what they are necessarily though. But uh, birds aren't big fans of me walking around here. This is what makes this building interesting. These are cableways. Pretty interesting ones themselves. Is they're designed for high capacity copper cables, I believe. There's another one of the poles. That one appears to be covered in creosote. So it makes me wonder what they were. Either a porch or a, some sort of wooden protection over everything, but uh, that's another cable trough there. <clears throat> and walking over the glass, checking out inside. I might have to grab a flashlight here, yeah. This one's pretty dark, so I'm gonna grab a flashlight and you'll be able to see more in just a second. And now that I've lit the area up, it's a little easier to see in here. A little easier specific to also see that there is a, an obvious trough in the floor where the cables used to go. And there used to be some sort of equipment in here. I'm not sure what the equipment that would have demanded even cable drops from the ceiling or no. Those are lights. It's hard to tell. I'm not going to stay long in here because I think that might be lead paint on the walls that's coming off. It's honestly a little hard to tell. But really interesting buildings that remain. Definitely no soundproofing whatsoever throughout this entire complex. If I remember right, I think it's a bathroom back through there. The door still move, thankfully. These have been burned, though, pretty effectively. Oh, my hand is burning, that hurts. So. Really interesting spots. I'm not gonna go in there, though. Because, uh, I'm a little bit afraid of the dark. So, I'm gonna take some pictures of this spot, and, uh, we're gonna head over to the main building afterwards, because that's where things get really interesting. The theater, the uh, what might have been like mainframe rooms, I don't know, it's just a really interesting site overall. So, we'll be back in just a minute. And just up from the building that I was just at, we're about 50 feet from it now, this is the main structure. So everything in here would have been the main complex. For the entire, uh, I don't think you can call it an air base necessarily because it's only a radar base. But it's definitely dateable to the 50s and so on. That is some nice laminate flooring there. Remarkable it survived this long. And here's one of the main entrances. With, I believe this would have been the uh, airman entrance. Service man entrance. Just putting on my head headlamp here. But uh Yeah, this would have been an interesting sight back in the day. Before all the graffiti hit and uh before it fell into disrepair because it's definitely seen better days. Still a uh, Beautiful sight, though. But last time I was here a few years ago, I think about three years ago now, this wall wasn't caved in nearly as much, and these pipes were not out here, so... I 
don't want to say vandals in here. But... And now they look inside. Uh, trying to turn out my light a little bit here. Not going to add much. Uh, this site. I'm not sure what this room specifically was. You can see the ventilation and everything, and the insulation. Just moving around in here. It's just a very large room. And then just through this hole here, I believe, is there it is, yeah. So this would have been an equipment room. So I'm kind of unsure what specifically would have been in this room, but you can see the cable troughs, and it's very likely would have been where most of the actual <coughs> radar monitoring equipment was, I'd say. But it's a really cool space in there. There's a lot going on in this place, but... This one definitely uh, looks like where all the real action happened here. Where all the monitoring was and everything like that. But I wonder what those are for. I think those there are ventilation. Which would make sense for cooling and such because there's definitely a lot of electricity flowing through there. So. We're going to go ahead and walk around a little bit here. Uh, ooh, i got to watch that. I'm not wearing big, thick boots today. Here's a good entrance into that room. I don't want to breathe too deeply because I don't know if there's asbestos in the ceiling and stuff. The big no thank you. But it's a, an enormous room here. Really cool to see. Then we're going to go ahead and move on to probably where the main entrance would have been, which would have been through here. It's a really low doorway through here. And oh, that's definitely started to collect. Oh, bird. It scared the shit out of me. It really waited until I was right next to it. Not sure would have been what would have been specifically down here, but across the way there is the theater. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Just try not to find nails in the board. There's plenty up there. There's definitely a smell of mold and must in here, though. I'm picking up my voice because I don't want to run into anything. I can stand the bugs, but everything else. So that's where the main entrance was. And here is where there was an actual on-premises movie theater. Yeah, I'm serious about that. In the information I found, there was an actual movie theater on site here. This is it. I'm going to get some pictures in here and move on through the rest of the rooms because this site still has so much to offer. Alright, so inside the building there was some very uh, discomforting creaking noises being made by the roof as soon as some wind blew through, so I got out of there pretty quickly for my safety. I'm going to walk around to the other side of the theater so I can show you that. It's just that way here. I just wanted to take another look at the graffiti and i show how everything looked here. Then show this, the remains of another building with laminate tile flooring. Don't know what this one would have been, but even the graffiti doesn't survive long in this platform. So, we'll start walking this way here. I'll just jump down this.
right there is another hole into that uh, equipment room. The one where I think all the good stuff was happening. The graffiti, uh, graffiti of this quality takes some work and some skill. So I'm quite impressed. In a way. Taking a look over the edge. I think it's a drainage pipe there, or a drainage pipe exit. We are definitely right on top of the mountain here. Mountain's been renamed as Radar Dome. Or at least called that colloquially. Colloquially. Ugh. Tongue twisted. That's the backside of the theater, I think. Just walking through the mud here. <coughs> Up there is where the radar used to be, as well as the cafeteria is right there. We'll be seeing that in a little bit here. But. This is actually the theater, so that inside there is the equipment room. Over here would have been the back side of the theater, I'd say, then. Turn the flashlight back on. Yeah. There's the equipment room in there. You can't see it though, because i turn all my settings up. There's the equipment room, though. And in here is the theater. I hope I can get this before my camera. Shuts down overheating. It's a beautiful room. Huge. And quite burned. Well, either burned or the colors came that way, but quite dark in there. And now we are just above the other building just down there. The building just down there was the main complex, the main section of this complex. And up here, I believe this is the cafeteria. See, my, my light was not on, just in case. But uh, this one, I definitely know there are pictures of this one here. There are pictures of this building or the interior of this building online that I've seen. And this is most certainly the cafeteria. Because <clears throat> the, there was a cafeteria directly on site. And the pictures I've seen, or at least the ones I remember, were of pretty much a perfect match for this building in size. So, it's quite the interesting little section of the complex here. I'll show you what's over here, it's not much. Just a little hallway with some graffiti in it. Not as much as the rest of the building. And then we're gonna go ahead and go up here past the incredibly awesome T-Rex skull here. And we're gonna see what we can see. Because I know the radar used to be right over here. So, I'm gonna pause here because my camera's been overheating. And we'll catch you up in a second. And just up here, past that building, the cafeteria, is what Radar Dome is now named for. Or rather, what used to be here. Used to be two giant radar domes. There's the foundations for more of one right here, but I don't know if it, there was actually a radar tower there as well. There's definitely foundations for at least a tower. Or a communications point of some sort, at least. But uh, this is pretty much the last of the site here. There's a small shed down there. I remember we checked it out last time we were here and uh, there's nothing inside even. Not really graffiti. So. This is what the radar dome was named for. This whole bit of the site. So, really an interesting spot. I'll see if I can interject some pictures here, but if not, you should really look the pictures up online because 
it was a really tall radar dome here, like an enclosed radar section. Just enormous globe, basically, that was built to withstand wind and winter stuff here, and then designed to output radar signals so they could track Russian missiles if they ever came over the north. Because that way-ish, all over that direction should be Canada. Can't really see it from here, we're not quite that high, and we're still like 50-ish uh, miles from the Canadian border. But, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, Canada's just that way, so we are pretty far in the contiguous 48. Pretty far north in the contiguous 48. So, I'll head back down over here because there is a power pole remaining. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, uh, just head down this little pathway here. Now the ground is slick. It's seen better days. This entire mountainside is just granite. And it's decaying pretty effectively, so. That's a good angle. And there's the electrical lines that used to come in. From wherever they could generate power, like that building down below. The one just off. There, you can kind of see the roof. That way. Down there. I don't know if it comes across on camera, but it's just over there. But uh, there was a few other power lines, or power poles here. They weren't super common though. This site, I believe, provided most, if not all, of its own power through generators. So, not many power lines or power poles were needed. Just a steady supply of gasoline or diesel. I'm not sure what they would have used up here. Probably gasoline back in the day. But, uh, there's the other side of the cafeteria. And then there's the main complex again. And we'll catch you out front in just a second. And we're now back down to the uh, bottom of the site here, at the main entrances. Mostly just wanted to see if we can get in through the front here. So I'll pull a flashlight out here. So I brought more than one. I'm getting smarter about that. It's still very hard to see what exactly is going on down this hallway. I imagine these were administrative rooms being tiled ceilings and all. And there's a very large bug. Just above me here. I've heard a lot of his friends flying around this whole time. Yeah, these must have been like administrative rooms. These are all laminate tile flooring. Which makes things a bit interesting. And then I'm just gonna go down here, not all the way to the theater because it's crumbling. But Full look as much as I can. Oh, what's left? And I can hear it crumbling again a little bit. It's pretty light, but I'm gonna stop here and uh, head on out. Thank you for joining me today, and uh, I hope to bring you to more places like this. I love these sorts of sites so much because they are perfect remnants of the history that had been out here. Like this is a, I think it was built in the 40s, late 40s. So it's just history all throughout. I love that. Love that it's still here. So, 
Thanks for celebrating that it's still here and taking a peek with me. We're gonna head on out. There's some some winds and rain clouds that are coming in, so we'll see if I can't beat them down the hill, because my god, the road up this is barely still there. You almost need a motorcycle at this point. So I'm gonna head down before I run out of road. Thank you for joining me.